I'm going to show you how we can take text and have a video or an image play within the text. So basically this is like using the text as a mask to the layer that's underneath it. I've already created a composition and I don't have anything in my composition yet. What we will do is we'll go ahead and use our text tool and we'll type some text on the screen. I'm going to type ocean sea life. I'm going to select my text. I will center align the text by going to my paragraph pane. Then I'm going to go to the character panel and I'm going to select a font and style the font accordingly. This effect works best with a very thick and bold font. So make sure that you're using something that is quite bold. We also want to increase the text and make it quite large. And I think I'll just capitalize sea life. Actually, let's just capitalize all of the text. I'm going to faux all cap it like so. And instead of just increasing the font size, I'm just going to select with my selection tool. I'll select the bounding box. And if I hold down the shift key, I can scale up and constrain the text so that it does not unproportionately scale. Once the text is fairly large, and then I'm going to actually reduce the letting by just a little bit. So instead of having this be auto, we're going to make the text be a little bit closer together. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to open my align palette. And since that is not already open, I'll go to window align and I'm going to make sure I'm aligning layers to the composition and I'm just going to center the text right in the middle of my composition. Now I'm going to bring my video footage and I have this video footage of shark and fish and my video footage is quite large. It's actually larger than my composition. So I'm just going to scale this down. So it's roughly the same size as my composition. I'll make my composition fit up to hundred percent and we're going to place this underneath the text layer. Now, in order to get the video to play within the text, we need to use something called a track mat. And in order to use track mat, we're going to have to use this little toggle switches and modes to change these switches and modes to show our mode and track mat. So once we have the track mat showing, now what I'm going to do is on the video layer, I'm going to use the track mat pull down and I'm going to select ocean sea life. When I do this, you will see that now the video is filling the text. And if we go ahead and hit the space bar and play, we will see that the video plays behind the text. Now I do realize that my video is quite a bit longer than my composition. So my video is actually 46 seconds long. My composition is only two seconds. I'm going to go into composition settings and we're just going to increase the composition duration to 20 seconds. So I'll type 2000. We'll zoom out in our timeline and I'm going to just go ahead and extend the text all the way out to the end. And now if we play, we're going to see the rest of the video is going to play through and we will just see it within the text. If you decide at any point that you want to change the font, we still have the option to do that. So if we select our ocean sea life layer and we go to the character panel, we can always scroll through and pick a different font. So if I wanted to see what this effect looked like with some other font that I might have installed, I could go ahead and I could try the different sorts of fonts. The thing that you want to remember is that you want to use a font that is bold so that you can see some of the underlying video. Now that I have my text acting as a mask, I'm going to select both of these layers. We'll right click and we're going to choose pre-compose. When we do this, we are actually taking the layers that have been selected and we're turning them into a new composition. Pre-composing is the process of packaging a series of layers into a new composition within After Effects. It's kind of the same as grouping layers in Photoshop or Illustrator. By grouping these layers together, you can then add animation, effects, or masks, and it will be applied to all of the layers simultaneously. I'll go ahead and I'm just going to call this text mask. I'll click OK and as you can see, it looks like in the side of our composition, we now have a nested composition, which is in fact exactly what we have. 
What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a new solid layer. So I'll go to new solid and let's go ahead and create a new solid. I'm going to create a color that is kind of light. So let's get a bright yellow. We're going to drop this yellow underneath the text. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make another solid. So I'll go to layer new solid. And for this solid, I'm going to choose a dark gray color. This solid is going to appear above the text. And then we're going to go to our shape tools. We're going to select our circular shape. And if we simply double click this, it will place the shape onto the layer and center it and have the shape fill the entire size of the composition. Now that I have this mask in place, I'm going to open up the mask properties. We're going to invert the mask. And then we're going to go ahead and increase the feather a lot. What I'm trying to do here is just focus the user's attention to the center of our composition. So I just want the edges to appear darker or a little bit burnt. We're also going to reduce the opacity of the mask. So instead of being at 100%, I'm just going to bring this down to around 50% or so. Finally, I'm going to go into my effects and presets. I'm going to search for drop shadow and I'm going to grab the drop shadow effect and place it on my text mask pre-comp layer. This will allow us to apply a subtle drop shadow to the text. We can go ahead and dial in the parameters of the drop shadow by coming into the effect panel and adjusting the settings. So I'm just going to leave the distance at 10 and I'll increase the softness to make this a little bit more blurry. Let's leave that at about 20. Now if we go ahead and click the home key and play our animation, you will see that the video is playing behind the text. You can apply this type of effect with an image or with video files. It will basically work with just about anything that you place inside of the text. This is a really cool effect and one that you'll be able to use in all sorts of projects. As I'm watching this, I realize that a little bit later on in the video, when the shark comes through, is a little bit more interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the text mask pre-comp, which puts me into the pre-composition. At this point, I can make modifications to this. So I'm simply going to scoot the video file over, and in essence, I'm setting a new endpoint further down within the video since the video file is about twice as long as our composition so that the video will start with the area right before the shark comes through. If we play now, you'll see that we're going to see the shark swimming through the school of fish a little bit sooner. And there are more sharks that are going to show up in the middle part of this video. Once I'm done with this, I'll go back to the ocean text layer and you can see that the changes have been updated in this particular composition as well. Have fun with these effects. They're very rewarding to do, and they're pretty easy to incorporate into your projects.